Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I apologize, I have a little bit of situation on my lip, but either way I want to film this video because I'm going to be decorating one of the walls in the living room. Actually, a few of the walls in the living room. This wall right here, I want to put the wooden uh, wood slats right here um, around the TV and behind it and underneath it as well. And I also want to put the wood slats on top of this wall and coming down this wall. Preston recently uh, finished remodeling our master bathroom, so I really do want to bother him with this project. And um, I already picked up uh, stuff that I need from Home Depot, the wood slats and the um, stain and the paint and things like that. So I'm going to try to ask the least amount of his help as I can. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And if you have any suggestions or ideas, then please stay tuned and comment down below. So here are my wood slats. I bought 27 of them. I don't know if it will be enough or not. I'm planning to send them down with the sanding paper. Actually, Preston left me this sanding machine right here, but I'm just not sure I'm going to operate it correctly. Uh, so I'm just going to manually send them down. And then now I'm going to use this water-based rustic wood effect to stain it. And it's supposed to be very fast. planning to paint this wall black I don't know if I'll be able to do it before kids wake up from that but that's the plan so yeah Preston is gonna help me because I couldn't paint all the way on top and now I'm not able to nail gun it all the way on top so Involving big guns. Plus, we have kiddos hanging out. I appreciate Aurora. Mommy. You're doing everything properly, not like me. Yeah. Well, the thing about it is, when you're going across like that, with uh -huh. something like this, uh -huh. if you do the first one wrong, it'll just evolve into the next one. Yeah. And the next one after that. It will be loud, guys. So this is going to be a space and then it's going to be horizontal. Kara is going to tape it and paint it. It's beautiful. You're going to decorate? Oh, wow. It's a beautiful picture. Is it Aurora? Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. She's big. She's big. This is how the project looks so far. Preston already put up a bunch of these planks. I stained um, almost all of the ones that we have. So he's cutting it and nailing it in. And I keep I keep my baby busy, I guess. Sorry, baby. No, you're not. <laughs> I brought you food. He said it was going to be a day off. <laughs> I thought I can do it by myself. Yeah. Kara's saying it's too loud. Yeah. Keep it down, baby. Yeah, you can remember that next time. <laughs> loud kids. I don't know how exactly it's going to work out, but I'm going to try to cut some wood on a Preston's wood cutter. So wish me luck. So it's been actually a few days um, and I want to show you how everything looks. We actually put away Christmas tree a while ago. 
um, just to finish up that wall so now there's no more Christmas tree in that corner so I'll show you um, how it turned out and I'll tell you where we got a few things just in case anyone is interested okay so this is how the first wall turned out I absolutely love it it's a little bit darker than I thought it would be um, but I think when we replace the carpet, we have this gray carpet right now. We're going to replace it with like light oak colors. It's going to be much brighter. But anyway, um, I got this wood from Home Depot. I got the stain from Home Depot and everything that was um, for this wall, including the black paint as well. These pictures I got from Home Goods. I had them for a while. I got this uh, picture lights from Amazon. They work on batteries. I would show you. But I don't have batteries there right now because we had um, electricity shortage and we actually used them to have some kind of lights and now the batteries are drained. Um, so I got this little uh, spiky decor from Z Gallery a while ago along with this driftwood. It's definitely a feature wall. I love how it turned out. And then on this side there is another uh, feature wall. Basically uh, to make it look a little bit more cohesive we have a baby swing on the way we actually have like three different baby swings because depending on the on her mood um, so yeah this is how this wall turned out I love how it looks this tree I got from at home a while ago still not sure if I like it in this area and also this picture right here I got from like the gallery outlet I'm going to paint over it because it's like a wooden uh, frame and wooden picture. I'm not sure I like this strokes and this kind of foil anymore. So I'm just going to paint over it and probably going to do some kind of DIY art. So I really like how everything turned out. It was a bit more work than I was expecting. But at the same time, um, it was well worth it rather than buying wood that was pre-stained or there are companies that actually buy the wooden wall flats uh, with like a felt in the back but those are kind of pricey so I'm sure we saved quite a bit of money by doing it ourselves and I love the results and I'm so happy that person helped me because there's no way I would be able to finish this project myself no matter how much I tried so yeah uh, please give me your thumbs up if you enjoy watching this video. Please comment down below. Let me guys know if you like it. Um, and if you're trying to have some kind of feature wall in your living room. And what your ideas are and things like that. And until the next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.